Cuco Canal is a series of connected man-made canals and water pools that was constructed during the 19th century. And despite being called a canal, the project was technically what is called a navigation. The Schuylkill navigation system is really only about half canal because between Philadelphia and Port Carbon, we utilize the Schuylkill River about half the time and we're constantly going in and out of what we call slack water. Canals were essentially intended to provide water power, irrigation, navigation, and drainage. Those four components, either uh, by themselves or in combination of one or more, were uh, the reason for canals being devised. After the project was completed, the canal spanned a sizable portion of Pennsylvania, linking the city of Port Carbon in Pottsville to Philadelphia. The reason for this project's conception was the need to transport bulk goods and doing so by water proved to be the most efficient and cost-effective method of its time. In 1761, the Pennsylvania Assembly recommended that the Schuylkill River Channel be modified in order to accommodate upriver traffic, being that rivers naturally only flow in one direction. From that point through 1791, surveying and blasting of the river began in addition to money being raised to build the navigation. In 1815, the Schuylkill Navigation Company was chartered to guide the construction of the Schuylkill Navigation as a means of transporting coal, lumber, and other merchandise between Port Carbon, Reading, and Philadelphia. Construction of the canal began in 1817, and it was not fully complete until 1827, with a total length of 108 miles and a cost of $3 million. Although it was not officially opened until 1823, the canal was used as early as 1821 to transport goods. After completion, the canal combined 62 miles of separate canals via 46 miles of slack water pools. The canal used 92 lift locks to raise and lower water levels in order to overcome a total difference of 588 feet in elevation. The Union Canal, which was built between 1821 and 1828, connected with the Schuylkill Canal at Reading, allowing shipments between Reading, Pottsville, and Philadelphia. The canal was a much cheaper method of transporting raw materials such as anthracite coal across state compared to transportation via stagecoach. Transportation between Pottsville and Philadelphia took about a day and a half using horse-drawn boats on the Schuylkill Canal. Before 1826, men would tow boats manually with ropes attached to sticks, taking around three weeks to complete a one-way trip. Business flourished at the canal company, and in 1857, the canal was used to transport more than one million tons of coal to Philadelphia. Due to its ability to provide water power and transport tons of cargo, the Schuylkill Canal transformed the towns of Reading, Norristown, and Pottsville into early manufacturing towns. Soon enough, the Schuylkill Canal assumed a monopoly over coal transportation from Schuylkill County to Philadelphia. By the 1860s, the Civil War had broken out, declining the usage of the canal. Finally, in 1869, a catastrophic flood crippled the canal and the navigation company, and in the next year, the company leased the waterway to the railroad. Under the control of the Philadelphia and Reading Railroad, the canal continued its decline. The railroad disallowed the use of the canal for major shipments in order to boost its own business. A combination of things, one being the railroad itself, and uh, the second on school canal navigation was a coal dirt that was infiltrated. Uh, from the mines in Schuylkill County. It, it literally choked the system off. And this was generated really by the change of, of methods of cleaning coal. In later years, the canal was mainly used for recreation, but increasing levels of silt deposits from coal rendered most of its parts unusable. Between 1947 and 1979, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania put forth multiple efforts to remove dangerous coal silt from the Schuylkill River, stopping all recreational use of the canal. Today, only portions of the canal remain open for recreational use. Mm -hmm.